Right now, artists are getting signed to major labels faster than ever. With the emergence of platforms like TikTok and Reels, all of a sudden, we have gone back into a time where there is huge organic reach, allowing artists to build huge audiences in a very short amount of time. This means labels have to capitalize on that momentum. And when an artist is hot, they're hot. And what used to take maybe six months to get a record deal signed, now that could be done in just a few weeks. Record labels know that momentum can fade just as quickly as it came. So therefore, it has to be capitalized on. If we look at an artist like Ty Verdes, who blew up on TikTok and within six months went from working in a mobile phone shop, having never released music, right the way through to signing to Arista Records and then going on to playing main stage of Lollapalooza. So that's great. We all know that if we blow up on social media overnight, there's a a huge opportunity and a huge audience waiting for us. But the question is, how do you blow up on social media very, very quickly using your music? Number one, you have to be visual. Why? Because this is the most powerful thing in the whole of the music industry. In social media terms, there you are, there you've gone. There you are, there you've gone. That is how quick people's consumption habit is. So therefore, that first one to three seconds is absolutely crucial to stop people scrolling. So what you wear, what you do, where you are, the production values, all of this matters for that very first impression to stop someone swiping straight past. Number two, think about the titles of your songs. Take an artist like Jax or Jax Wright songs. She wrote a song called Shark Week, which made people wonder and give them intrigue about what that song is about, as opposed to the classic song titles, Angel or Tonight. If you're not giving people a reason to wonder and want a little bit more, they probably will swipe straight past. Number three, lyrics and subject matter have never mattered more than they do right now. Take an artist like Justice Bennett. Justice blew up on TikTok with his track, Bad Day. Just four lines, but those four lines spoke to people, which meant he had 20 million views on that TikTok piece of content alone within a space of a week, which meant he had 250,000 new TikTok followers within that week. He had 16 million views on that track on Spotify today, which led to 9 million views on his next track down, my second track on Spotify. It also led to 25,000 new YouTube followers and 15,000 Instagram followers, probably a lot more by the time you're watching this video. Why? Because the lyrics meant something. And number four, consistency matters more than ever. Everyone's been crazy crying and bitching about the algorithm not showing their content on Instagram and Facebook for several years. Well, your prayers have been answered and now you can get organic reach crazy organic reach, but you do have to play the game. Now, this isn't going to last for that much longer. We're in the wild west of social media. Now, this might last for six months, maybe for 12 months, but we've seen it with Facebook. We've seen it with YouTube. We've seen it with Instagram. It won't be any different for TikTok or Reels. So if you want to capitalize on this opportunity, you have to be consistent and you have to jump in now. Now, why consistency matters is because the average TikTok user opens up TikTok six times times a day. That's six opportunities for you to get in front of them with the old devil finger. So therefore, when we're dealing with quantity and quality, quantity is more important than it was a year ago. And consistency is more important than ever. And caveat that also, don't forget that if you feel like you're spamming people, that's purely because you're not giving enough value in your content. If you give value in your content, then you can post 10 times a day. If you're not posting value in your content, that you shouldn't be posting once a day. Never has it been more realistic for an artist to get signed within the next six months, down to platforms like TikTok and Reels really pushing out that organic reach, allowing you to build that audience and use your music to a and &I yourself. But saying that, record labels aren't looking for you to be that finished product. But if you put in the proof and you show them the audience is there and enjoying what you do and therefore is a monetizable asset, then they will come sniffing around. So guys, if you're struggling with what content to make and you're overwhelmed with this whole process, then why not come and join DK Music Business Academy? The link is below. In DK Music Business Academy, I am all about helping up and coming artists. Everything from content creation, Facebook ads, building an audience. Not only are there courses, there's also a community of like-minded musicians for you to bounce ideas off. There's live sessions and there's other masterclasses from other specialists as well as myself. It's a complete no-brainer and there's a Seven day free trial. So I hope to see you there. But if not, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, 
Keep on smashing it and I'll see you soon.